Dias Mirga Tagini Ushle and welcome to this edition of the Irish Circle. The staff of the Irish Circle wishes to extend a very happy new year to all its viewers. The show tonight has drawn from highlights of the Irish Circle shows during 1983. Starting now with the recent season's greetings to the Irish POWs from the computer billboard in Times Square. The greetings were organized by John McDonough, president of the Midtown Manhattan chapter of Northern Aid with graphic design by artist Brian Moore. I'm in Times Square. It is a cold, windy day. I'm talking to Brian Moore, the artist who drew what's happening right behind us right now. What gave you the idea to do this? Uh, this was raised for myself and uh, yourself, John, and a few other people. We worked, we worked in conjunction to combat the latest British propaganda war against supporters of the Republican movement in this country. Uh, the federal government has started the another phase in their long, ongoing campaign against us, uh, as we've seen with Roger Sharp on Channel 7. So the only way we figured that we could get to the people, since we can't get to them through the media, was to advertise. All we can harken back to is the figure that they've been throwing around now since uh, since the census of 41 million Irish in this country. If we can get X amount of money from even a small segment of that community, we might be able to do something with the, the long propaganda war that's been waged against us. Do you think the Irish community is ready to take to the Times Square advertising in the near future? I hope so. I definitely hope so. We'll be back here again uh, in about a, another month or a month and a half from now. Well, Brian, do, I, do you think this will affect any of the people in the Times Square area? I'm sure it has. We've seen people already looking at it. Like this, like, uh, some of the message may be a little obscure to a lot of Americans. This is due to the, uh, the lack of news coverage that we have received, you know, over the years. This is uh, probably the longest liberation struggle in the history of the world and the, and the least covered. For our, our listeners' point of view, when you see UTP during this show, it means up the provost, which is a Belfast slogan that's painted all over the nationalist areas of the north and the south, and in actually parts of Scotland in the nationalist areas of Glasgow. Uh, this advertising here runs 27 seconds and runs every 12 minutes. It started 8 o'clock this morning and will run through till midnight. The approximate number of people that are going to see this today is 1.8 million and we're hoping for other media coverage to pick up on this so this is john mcdonough and brian moore live from times square <laughs> 